America, we have a problem. First and foremost, the rioting, the looting, the protest and the peaceful protest that I'm with. Let's not burn down our own home and go live in it. It makes no sense. But that's my opinion. I'm a man of the people. I would never, you know, tell you how to feel. But I do know if a couple of years back, I would be out there probably doing the same thing. So I feel your frustration, your pain, and I respect that. I'm a black man. I'm a taxpayer. And I still feel like there's an X on my back. And at any point in time, this could happen to me or someone I love. So I understand and I respect you. But let's not lose the message. Second of all, I've been seeing numerous just different races, different people from different countries everywhere from Berlin to ATL to Atlanta. It's been out there on the front line, and I commend you for fighting this good fight with us. That's what it's all about, bringing people together. Where he tries to tear us apart, I'm speaking about the president, where he tries to tear us apart and pit us against each other, this is where you stand together, and I respect that. So all my brothers and sisters that's out there fighting that good fight, I respect you and I salute you. Third of all, the stimulus check, let's talk about it. $1,200 is not going to keep us quiet. It's not going to make us go away. It's not going to make us zip our lips. It's not going to do none of that. As a matter of fact, $1,200, a stimulus check is never going to cover a reality check. You still owe us, buddy. And by the way, it's our money. Let's talk about that. You put your name on it, but it's our money. It's our government. It's our money. I'm a taxpayer. It's our money. Plain and simple. So you're not doing us any favors. So let's start there. Third of all, this is a generation thing. The first generation had it bad. The second generation got the double hit. This is bad. We lost our values, we lost our way, we lost our morals, our morals as a country, and this is bad. So now we're here. We can't let this go on and affect the next generation because the people that look up to us are going to look at us and say, you guys didn't fix this for us, just like we're looking up to looking at the people before us and saying, why you guys didn't stop this? It's time for us to do what we got to do, but let's not lose the message. Fifth of all, to all my friends, politicians, um, uh, entrepreneurs, athletes, actors, uh, 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 motivational moguls, business gurus. Let's get on the phone. Let's come up with a plan because the soldiers are there. We have the soldiers. You see what's going on. They out here every day fighting the fight. But what do we got for them? What do we, what, what's the next move? Our next move got to be our best move because now we have their attention. We cannot lose the message because if we lose the message, we're going to be back here 15 years from now. And that's something I don't want to see. It's time. We got their ear. We got their attention. Let's put our plan together. And hey, I don't know. Maybe it's the whole nation going to White House lawn and we're not leaving until they give us some answers. Or they change what they're doing and make it in betterment for the people. Because we the people, we have the power now. We have their eyes. We have their ears. We have their attention. Please, I beg you, please, let's not lose the message. And let the fight be for what the fight is for, the people.